Today at one camp for Una with video footages and where they come from Bamenda. Bad news. Make a play on a video where I received one from Bamenda. It happened yesterday for 8 p.m. We AD a boy and come up for inside my 90. They enter for Bamenda. Come for unique prison house. Now man this way. Unique Prizo, he don't pay the so-called liberation tax. He don't settle tanker, he don't settle a labo camp. Now big businessman for Bamenda, we all we will know he, now man for the people. Unique Prizo, he be there for America for me to a family. He begin and beg, he say, pa, she don't for here for America, enjoy life. He talk say, no, I've been a Bamenda man, I know he left my place, me, did that way. He go back for Bamenda. When I see what it done happen, they don't kidnap me, as I talk for now. Now so, when I call Ayabachu, Talk me then release pre unique because the two innocent people the way he murder him. For instance, goes on, come out, Mumu Lucas Big Mob criminal. He come out talking that people the way they be in a black leg where evidence and come out saying that innocent civilian where they don't catch him for so example, kill your own people. Mr. Man, no can talk to someone they sabotage any person, so man, they work for La Republic. No, we are supporting our fight, we are encouraging people to fight against La Republic. Nobody does it better than me. Because this is a legitimate cause. But these things, the influence of people like Ayabachu, who are using criminal gangs, who is a criminal in nature, because only a dirty soul person, a person without any iota of humanity, who acts or justify the murder of innocent people, like these two people in Gozang, the blood of these people will follow Ayabachu and anybody who knows that this is a murderer, a war criminal, and continue to listen to him or to follow him or to promote what he does. You cannot, with all the evidence that you have in front of you, pretend that you don't know what Ayabachu is doing. When I was with him, you saw how we fought against criminality. Today, his real nature is coming. So what we see today in Bamenda, let me bring you the video. You ask yourself what the family will go through, what the community will go through, the quarter will go through, the people that he knows, the people that are connected to his family, all their chat groups, whether it is their ex-students union or it is their country group that they belong to, when they will hear this story, that unique priests have been kidnapped. This is not arrest, it's kidnapping for ransom by the ADF, taken to my 90. As now he's there in my 90, there are four his friends using his mobile phone. The soldiers, they have confirmed. So let me play the video so that you watch. You see with your own eyes. Mr. Mano talks, say, so man, the war will the public say an accusation. Ask yourself, who this job in Alabu come, this job in um, in Taturu, it happened in Taturu, Atia Junction, when you're going towards uh, Bali Road, there, Bali Park there, Atia Junction in Taturu. That is where the event happened. I'm going to share with you the video. Shoot gun. Shoot gun from our window. Scatter our window. Yes, sir. So I've gone finish it. The bullet wound that will not see it. That's a gun. So Mango talks it. There is sabotage. I have a show. No. If you are conduct, if what you are doing, no matter the name you call yourself, if they call you, your father, your father, and body, the call you, the angel. But wait till you do them now for thief people they will quarter the world call it a thief man. They don't call their name say angel. So no man need the sabotage I have a chill. When I ran see the two people they were then killed and for gozan, innocent civilian them. All man knows them be innocent with all the evidence. I have a choke and talk say they be being a black leg. Then kidnap international lawyer for Bamenda. I have a choke and talk. He called the man. No be say the boy they do and way he no be connected. He called the man. Talk to you are a black leg with no evidence. Say that man a black leg. Now this type of search for power, popularity, and playing commander in chief, we then destroy our struggle completely. This has nothing to do with Ambazonia. These are criminal gangs. Ayabacho is a criminal. It's a war criminal. It's a deranged somebody who have mental problems. This is nothing. So because a normal person. No person who stands to fight for your own people will allow the road for Bali, Bali, Bali uh, the road to uh, Bengui is still blocked today. Now, the Ayabacho that he knows 
They killed innocent people in Gozang. He came out to say that there were people who were arrested and investigated. This drama they are playing on social media, they are disconnected from the reality on the ground. It is one thing for people to be accusing you of something that you have not done without any evidence. But with Ayabacho, we see it every day. We see it every day. Look at this influence. You can't be a leader of a group and then you allow them to commit crimes. You promote it. You support it. You have said that they should kidnap francophones. They have killed innocent by Amazonia in the name of kidnapping francophones. They are doing all these things in your name and you support it. You are a criminal. And anybody who supports Ayabachu who come and publicize what he says is not doing it for Ambazonia. It's about groupism. It's about trying to feel belonging to a criminal gang. It is criminal actions against our own people. Kidnapping of our own people by Ayabachu, linked to Ayabachu, and Mumu Lucas. These are war criminals. And then you think that somebody who is responsible for this criminality who break into the bank credit union in Tarunkul. These are not things that I am making up. You can see the videos for yourself. And then he comes out to indict Cameroon or Pobia for killing our own people when you are a killer. No, you cannot use a monster, a duck, to kill a duck. The Bible clearly says only light can drive away darkness. When people like this stand in front of the camera to try to represent Ambazonia to dominate our struggle, and in our own curiosity, people follow them, they, they, they support them without challenging them and trying to change them. Then you destroy the struggle because nobody will believe that this struggle represents the interests of our people. This is a kidnapper, it's, he's a murderer. It's not accusation, they are evidence. You see, let me play the video again uh, once more. I'm going to penetrate so. We are going to penetrate so. Knock. Can this is some police house. So? He do above so he pass off all. That bullet could have killed anybody. Any responsible leader. When I was working with Ayabacho, remember that I joined him because of his radicalism in the hope that I would transform him and influence the soldiers in a positive direction, which I did marvelously. And when they commit crimes, I didn't come and say that the no crime was committed. I take responsibility and make sure that it doesn't happen again. And we account to the public. That deters or stop soldiers from thinking that wrong things are right. But not so with Ayabacho. He comes out and endorses killing of innocent people. The blood of those people in Gozang and the criminal investigation being carried out against him. Time will tell. But we all are human beings. We all are mortals. One day we will all die. Nobody is here to stay forever. But people who have a black soul, who have stained their soul with the killing of innocent blood, like I have a chew, and those who follow him pretending that they are supporting Ambazonia. No. You, if you were fighting for Ambazonia, you would be fighting for those two people as well. So, this is what is happening in our country. And this is the reason why our struggle have not been able to have the international support that it deserves. Because you have criminal gangs like I have a chew, who get criminals, irrespective of what they are doing because he's so desperate for endorsement and support. He will get it from anybody that he wants to. It doesn't matter because the, the focus is not the population, is not their interest, is not the independence. It is an obsession to become a dominant leader. And we saw that in Canada. Because even when La Republic agreed to release our prisoners, his most concern was that they are going to come out to be more popular than him. Even when they agree for ceasefire, he is more worried about post conflict structure because he wants to become the leader. He is the leader. Nayi, Nayi, the top. But we should never forget that we are fighting for our people. And when we reach a place where we realize that there are some people within us that will not allow us to win or to have the international support by committing war crimes, extremism, and outright terrorism in our name, then we must take stock and say, how can we go forward? Should we allow these criminals to dominate our struggle and our country should remain like this forever? Because right now, Pobia has won. I have actually have granted Pobia his witch by committing this crime. Previously, Atang and Jipo were being blamed for committing this crime to destroy the struggle. Now, they don't need to do that. Because you have a criminal like I have actually, who is dominating some forces on the ground.
So fellow Ambazonian, these are the challenges that has made it impossible for us to win. Not that we cannot win, but when people go and kidnap our own people, imagine the, the, the family of this, uh, they call him uh, pre-unique. Imagine his family. He's, he has a family in America. A lot of his children are in America. He came to America according to what they're telling me. The family asked him to stay in America because of the insecurity. But Grand Prizo, because he come from Bamenda, he loved Bamenda, he come from Bazunia, he loved that place. He said, I will go back and stay with my people. He went, he paid money for liberation tax, the so-called liberation tax, to Tanka, to Allah who come. Yet the same ADF, not a different force, the same ADF come all the way from my 90. Shoot gun in his house. They could kill anybody there. And arrest, kidnap him. He is right now in the house of the ADF. So call Ayabacho, tell Ayabacho, say na sabotage kapo Danielito on a true. The video speaks for itself. That is shoot gun. Shoot gun from our window. Scatter our window for yes. So do you think all the people who know pre unique, his uh, cosmetic store, he has been operating the biggest cosmetic store in Bamenda Central Market. Everybody know him. I have gone there to change US dollar when I was back home the last time. I went to his store, so everybody know him. Imagine all his children in America, the groups that they are in, the traditional group, the ex-students group, their quarter group. Do you think people who know that he has been kidnapped now after demonstrating that he's a patriot, do you think they will still support our struggle? That is how we have separated a lot of our people from our struggle. Not La Republic's action, but the actions of criminal gangs and leaders who cannot stand up for the people. Their actions have completely made it impossible for us to win this war. It is not possible anymore. Not because La Republic has defeated us, no, but because we have imploded as a result of criminals like Ayabachu who are war criminals. These are really terrorists. Somebody who keeps people like that is a terrorist by definition. It is one thing if they accuse you like everybody is accusing everybody without any evidence, but the evidence of Ayabachu is right in front of our eyes. So do you think he can go and be pointing hand to Paul Bia and somebody will take him serious? A murderer? How, do, how does he even stand in front of the camera and say that Cameroon is killing our people? When he is killing our people. It neutralizes that voice that he could use. So that is the problem we have. That is why our people, we must come together and make sure that we secure our independence from criminals like Ayabacho who are going to give Paul Bia the victory because now Paul Bia is winning. The only way we can secure our independence is to moderate our stance because the, the, the struggle have a strong extremism angle. We have an Ambazonia problem. Anybody who cannot see that is not in reality. 90% of our people knows that. We don't want to go back with La Republic, but we, what, what choice do we have? If we have independence today, if you put Seseko Ayabacho will fight, you put Ayabacho... Yeah, everybody, every, all of them have lost their mind. They have become so obsessed with their groups and their personality, putting on their own caps of Mr. President and Mr. This and That, that the, peop the interests of the people have become secondary. So, we must do the right thing. We must do the right thing. If you follow, if you know God, you cannot follow Ayabachu. You cannot ignore the evidence that are in front of you. So we have to do what we have to do now, not because we wanted to make concession, but because people like this have destroyed the struggle with extremism.